morning everybody. I uh, got a good night's sleep here in Pacific City and I woke up about 7 a.m. and kind of laid around and thought about what I wanted to do today so I uh, left all my junk back at the motel and I'm driving down to the wildlife refuge now so I don't have to worry about it when I oh crap I forgot my hiking boots oh, I have to go back uh, so <laughs> All right, hold on a second. All right, take two. <laughs> so I got my hiking boots and I'm on my way to the Nestucca Wildlife Refuge now. And I wanna see if they have put up their infographic displays yet. Because um, a couple of years ago, uh, actually a few years ago, I was down here and I took some photographs of some black-tailed bucks and I uploaded them on Flickr. And then I was contacted last year by um, a guy that works for a graphic design company and they wanted permission to use my photograph for an infographic display for an expansion of the park that they're doing. They're gonna do some uh, updating and add in some trails because right now there's a parking lot on the hill uh, which leads up to um, kind of a viewing lookout for some wildlife. Uh, it's got a nice little deck up there and. So they were going to expand the park to the west and include some walking trails that would go down to the beach and my infographic display would be at one of the trailheads there, kind of talking about the different wildlife that you can experience there at the park. So obviously mine would be for the black-tailed bucks. So uh, I haven't heard anything from the guy. Um, he told me he was going to try to keep me in the loop with the progress. Um, but I haven't heard anything, but that could be a hundred different reasons why. Like, maybe he doesn't even work there anymore. So, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to look for myself because I thought I heard that there was some construction work happening down at the park. So, uh, I'll let you guys know what I find out. So, I'll see you soon. I'm here at the Nestucca Bay National Wildlife Refuge and this is on Cannery Hill just south of Pacific City. Uh, that is Chief Kiowanda Rock and then you can see Pacific City back there and my car is parked back there. So there's definitely some construction going on on that hill. There's been some um, dump trucks and stuff offloading soil there. So something's happening but it's slow progress and I was thinking that's like you know it's kind of a natural thing for you know government agencies anyways to kind of take their time doing things so my sign isn't up yet unfortunately but there is some progress being made so I'll have to come back probably next year <laughs> to see what progress has been made um, but it's beautiful here um, I've come here, when was I here? Last April, I was here and there's nothing. Uh, and then when I came here originally to do my photography, it was in August and this whole field was just blooming in wildflowers. You can see some of the lupines down here and I've seen some irises coming up, uh, but it was insane the amount of flowers that were here in August and butterflies and birds everywhere. And then down on that field below, uh, that's where I saw the deer. So 
I don't see anything today except for some birds you can probably hear um, but it's still beautiful I mean look at this river valley so if you just want to get away from all the crazy tourists and you know have a nice little walk up a hill and get a beautiful view uh, I highly recommend coming up here Yeah, look at that view. I mean, up here at sunset is probably phenomenal. I should have done that last night, but I enjoyed myself on the beach. So yeah, I think that's called, that little sandbar down there is part of the Bob Straub Wayside, I think is what they call it. Uh, and that's another pretty vantage point too of the, the haystack or the sea stack, Chief Kiawanda Rock. So yeah, it's weird. The The cape is called Cape Kawanda, but the rock is Chief Kiawanda. So, yeah, look how pretty that is. So I think further down that way is where they're going to have the path that goes down to the beach and just kind of incorporate this whole peninsula into one park. So that'll be really cool. I'm looking forward to coming back and hiking that. So now I've got to go back to my hotel, got to load up everything, get a bite to eat. I've got that fruit still. I've got some granola. I might just do granola and some yogurt. I don't know. But yeah, I've got uh, some driving to do and I want to get down to Hasita Head, Head tonight for sunset. I'm not sure how far south that is. Probably 100 miles. It's past Florence on the way to Coos Bay. So I'm going a little bit slower on my road trip than I was thinking, but I'm enjoying myself. You know, kind of hitting all the, the nice little spots here and just enjoying nature and just being out away from my house. I mean, I like my house. I miss my cats. I really miss cooking for myself too. That's one thing I hate about road trips is um, I cook probably 95% of my meals and having to rely on other people to cook, I don't like it. I'm never satisfied and uh, it's always way too many calories. So, <clears throat> little things you miss from home. Alright, I gotta figure out the rest of my day. So, I'll catch you guys up in a few minutes.